Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Can you listen to me? One, two, three, one, two, three, hello, hello. Okay, my dear students, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Well, I hope everybody's doing fine and you are having a very good time right now. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Hello, Catherine, how are you? Hello. Okay. I think you can listen to me right now. Yes. Can you listen to me? Yes, no. Hello, yes, sure. Ah, good, very good. It's because I thought I had problems with my microphone. <laughs> okay, okay, fantastic. Well, uh, it is a pleasure to see you once again. For me, it's a very uh, great pleasure to serve you once once again. Tonight, I know it's a very uh, sporty night for many people, but we are here learning. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know. I know today the students are with an eye in the class and with an eye on the TV. You are like, aha, teacher, yes, teacher, aha, teacher, aha. <laughs> And you are not listening to me, but I, I really appreciate that you connect and that you are here for your class. Um, welcome. And I am <laughs> Mr. Marlon. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am here. You are dressed in white, representing your country. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you like, do you really like to watch uh, sports on TV? Yes, but I, I prefer uh, go to the stadium. <laughs> you prefer to go to the stadium. But right now, I mean, with the pandemic and with so many people in the stadium, yes. my goodness, that it's going to be ah, very complicated. Really, be really. Yeah, this because is the main reason. Yes, because imagine if only one person, if only one person is infected in the middle of all these people that are going to be in the stadium, my goodness, that's going to be hard. So maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. There at home, nothing happens, right? You are safe and sound. That's that's the phrase. That's true. Safe and sound. It is it is very dangerous, I think, to go to go and expose yourself to so many people. And now that so many people are getting infected and so many people are dying because of COVID, no, maybe not. So it's better if we are here accompanying your teacher learning about if classes today we are going to learn about if classes it's our class number 11 and yes. next week we are finishing intermediate to my goodness it's like it has been so quickly it's like 
do I feel that we started like yesterday and we are one week from finishing? So um, let's, it, let's start, let's get ready, right? So remember, uh, thank you for being on time. Practice your English as much as, much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude in the WhatsApp group. And I really like that everybody asks one question in the group and then you are like willing to answer and help your friends in the WhatsApp group with any of the questions that they might have. And that it's very good, right? That it's very nice that you help each other. So tell me a little bit, what were we studying yesterday in class? We study about past tenses. Past tenses? Past tense verbs, usage to, uh -huh. present time, simple present, Present continue, normal verbs, future time, will, going to, and might. Exactly verb. like that. Very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Julio. We started about time contrast, right? The time contrast on which we compare the past, uh, how we use the present, and how we use the future sentences. Right. So if we use the three sentences in an example, for example, you can say, um, I am going to give you my example and then you can uh, create your example to start this class. I am going to go here. And I can say, yesterday I visited my friends. It's not true, but I, but I was here in class, so I was with my friends. Today, I um, ha I am having a class, and tomorrow I will have my day off. Okay, I have three examples, and I need you to create the three examples as well. One about yesterday, one about today, and one about the future, okay? Create three examples. One about yesterday, one about right now, and one about the future, okay? Write them on your notebook, and when you have them ready, you are going to read them for me. Hello, Milton. Hello, Diomesis. Hello, Heidi. Hello, Ana Romero. Thank you for connecting and being here in your class. When you have the sentences, please let me know. You can open your microphone and you can read them. Hello, hello. Okay, please let me know when you have them. One about yesterday, one about right now, and one about tomorrow. Teacher, yes. uh, the, the three sentences say, say yesterday in, in the, uh, past, uh, present, and future, and future. Yes, you need to create three sentences exactly as what we did yesterday, but you are going to use information about yesterday, about today, or about right now, and one sentence about the future. Say yes. uh, uh, an exercise you, you put up in yeah. this moment. Yes, right now I created the examples. I need you to create personal examples, right? About okay. anything. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, Julio, do you have your I, sentence? I have three, yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, let me review. Ah, this one. 
uh, when I was kid, mm -hmm. I got very good qualification in my school. Okay. Very uh, good uh, scores, you say. Scores. Scores. Oh, scores. Scores. Like this. Scores. Scores. With uh -huh. S to them? Yes, scores. It's course. notas. Uh -huh. Yeah. Scores. Okay, let me. Okay. Uh, in this day, uh, there are many, I don't know how to say vehicles. 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 Be vehicles. Okay, in these days, there are many vehicles in the country. Yes, there are many vehicles in the country. Very good. And for the future? For the future, uh, I think yesterday I, I shared with the, with the team, in the future, uh -huh. the pandemic will disappear. The pandemic will disappear. Very good. Now, Mr. Uh, let's see, who else has it ready? Mr. Marlon, do you have them ready? Okay. Yesterday I worked till late. Okay. Today I am watching the laptop. Uh -huh, I am watching the watching laptop. Good. The laptop. Tomorrow I have a meeting with my boss. I will have a meeting with my boss. Very good job. Thank you very much. Original sentences about your life. Very good. But Mister, it's, uh -huh. true. it's true. I know. Original sentences it's about true. you. Very good. Let me see. Mr. Milton, do you have your sentences? Yes. Yesterday, Hi. yesterday the class is, was very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> uh, today, I'm going to my family. Okay. It's good. I... Uh, Okay, can you repeat the sentence? Because I don't know if it was your connection or my internet connection that I couldn't listen to the sentence um, in a very good way. Can you repeat the sentence? Today, I'm going to visit my, my family tonight. Okay, yes, the sentence is correct, but it's not about the present. It's about the future or the uh, uh, a near future, right? In if you say, if you say, uh -huh. I am hey, okay, change uh -huh. today. I'm staying in my home. I'm Watch staying at TV. home. Very good. Watch I am TV. staying at home watching TV. Very good. Okay. That's correct. Uh, the future tomorrow, I will be, I will, uh, I will be in my work very early. I will be at work very early. Very good job. Thank you. Those three sentences are very good. Excellent job. Let's see. Uh, Ana Romero, do you have your sentences? Uh, yes. Yesterday, I went to work of my sister. Uh -huh. Today, I am uh, learning learning English <laughs> yes and tomorrow I am going to I am going to have a capacitation okay I am going to have a training training uh, I am I going, am to, going have... to have a training a training. Very good. Training is capacitación in English. Very Thank good. You. Thank you very much, Ana Romero. Let's see. Heidi, do you have your sentences? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Yesterday I brought some flowers. Okay. Um, today I'm working in the report. I'm working in the report. Uh huh. Report. In the report. Yes. And tomorrow I will finally the report. I will finish. You say I yes. will finish. Finish. Okay, teacher. I will finish the report finally. Yes, you, say, you can use finally like like an, as an expression to say like oof, finalmente. Say ah, today, okay. uh, tomorrow I will finish the report finally. Finish. 
Okay. Or if you say, Thank tomorrow, you, I will finally finish the report. It's like, ah, finalmente lo voy a terminar. Thank you very, okay. very, very much. Let's continue with Anna Jancy. Do you have your sentences? Uh, hello, teacher. <laughs> um, yesterday, I worked a lot. Uh-huh. And today, I am, I am eating, eating fish. Uh -huh. I am eating fish. Good. Very <laughs> delicious. And tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, uh, I will... I will, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I will work. I will work. Yeah. Vamos a trabajar. Everybody, we are all going to work. Thank you very much. Catherine, your sentences. Miss Catherine. Hello, hello. Okay, I think Catherine cannot listen to me. Ismael, can you share your sentences? Uh, teacher, I'm sorry, I was kind of late and I, I didn't hear exactly what you were doing. I'm sorry. Okay, good. So we just created three sentences about our days. One sentence about what happened yesterday one sentence about what is happening right now and one sentence about what you are going to do tomorrow oh okay it's good okay so i can i can do it now you can just invent uh -huh. go ahead okay uh, yesterday i had a meeting with my uh, co-workers good today um i went to the supermarket okay and tomorrow uh, tomorrow, I will. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? To, well, something that we always do. Okay, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna. Uh, uh, tomorrow I will wake wake up late. I will wake up late. Ah, oh, that's very delicious. Very nice to wake up late. <laughs> It is I funny. Wish. Yeah, it is funny that we say, I want to wake up late five in the morning. It's like <laughs> it's very yeah. it's really terrible. I wish I could. Yeah. I wish I could. No, but, but you that's have a baby. Case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> yeah, if you have if you have a kid or if you work early all the time, it's impossible to wake up late because you have your biological clock waking you up yes. <laughs> okay thank you very much my dear students for your examples and thank you very much for reviewing yesterday's class so i have a little reading here for us to practice a little bit of with what we have been studying right and uh, here as we were doing yesterday i have a paragraph with the three forms of the tenses we have past present and future and I need you please to read the paragraph, read the paragraph and give me examples of the sentences in the past, in the present and in the future. Okay, read it and I need you to give me examples. If you want to mark it, you can also mark it with the pen, right? You can get a pen and you can mark it, right? Like this. If you want, or if not, you can tell me, teacher, one sentence in the present is like this. One sentence in the past, this one. One sentence in the future, this one. Okay. I need you to get examples and I need you to read them for me. Go ahead. Give me examples of sentences in the past, in the present and in the future. Uh-huh. 
Only one or two, don't worry. I am going to go over the reading so you can all listen to it. In many cities nowadays, food shopping takes very little time. In the past, people used to go to a different shop for each item. For example, you could buy meat at a butcher shops and fish at the fish market. A fruit uh, market used to have fruits and vegetables. For dry foods like rice or beans, you had to go to the grocery stores. Today, you can get all these things at a supermarket. Many supermarkets are making a lot of money these days, but times are changing. Before long, people will drive in their cars to huge superstores to buy everything. And who knows, soon everyone will get a computer at home. People already might use them to purchase everything from food to furniture, from legal advice to medical help. Okay, examples of the present. Examples of the past or examples of the future. Go ahead. If I read this sentence right here, in many cities nowadays, food shopping takes very little time. What is that? Present, past, this, this or future? Is for, this is for present. It's for present. present, right? It's for present. If we go to the next sentence right here and it says, in the past, people used to go to a different shop for each item. Yes, it's, it's, past. it's the it's past, the right? Past. You have the phrase at the beginning, in the past, right? For sure, in the past. Uh, for example, you could buy meat at the butcher shops. What is that? Future. Future. Okay, it comes along with the previous sentence and it says, uh, in the past, people used to go to a different shop for each item. For example, you could buy meat at a butcher shop. This is past. past because could, in this case, is the past tense of can. Mm -hmm. The next one, a fruit market used to have fruits and vegetables. Past. Right, past, because it says used to have. Very good. Past tense, used to have. Very good. Let's continue here. Uh, okay. For dry foods like rice or beans, you had to go to the grocery store. Present. You had to go. Tenías que ir. That is for the past. You had to go. Um, the past. next one, yes. The next one says, today you can get all these things at a supermarket. Present. Present, mm -hmm. right? Present. Many supermarkets are making a lot of money these days. Present. Present, right? People will drive in their cars to huge superstores to buy everything. For sure. For future, sure. Future, future, sure. right? Future. future. Everyone will get a computer at home. Future. Future. And people might use the computers to purchase everything. Uh, really? People yeah. might use the computers to buy food or furniture. Past. Is it might for the past? Past. No. Might, oh, might, might is for the future, right? Okay. Porque podrían usarse, right? In the future. Mm. It's a possibility. Mm. We Thank never know. Thank you very much. Excellent, my dear students. Excellent. It is good that you can identify the different sentences in the past, in the present, and in the future, because that it's very good for you not to confuse the tenses. So the last exercise that we are going to do in this topic is this one. And it says, when did people travel by horse or carriage? And we have three options. In the next five years, about 100 years ago, or these days? When did people travel by horse or carriage? About, about 100 years ago. 100 years ago. 
about 100 years ago, right? Because right now you don't see los chorros full of horses, right? You see los chorros full of cars. You see, eh, I don't know, this eh, troncal del norte full of cars. Imagine full of horses. That would be crazy. When might doctors find the cure for the flu? In the next, in the next 40 years. In the next 50 years. 50 okay. years. What is the next question? Can you help me to read the next question, students? Number three. Hello. The first man... Five years ago. When did the first man go to the moon? About 35 years ago. About 35 years ago. Good. When is everyone going to have a computer at home? Right now. Soon. Soon, right? Because still there are some houses that are waiting for a computer, okay? But soon many people are going to have a computer at home. Now, if we want to transform these two things into one sentence, how can we do it? I am going to give you the first example. Here, I am going to give you the first example right here. About 100 years ago, people used to travel by horse and carriage. I made the two sentences, only one. About 100 years ago, people used to travel by horse and carriage. How can you make these two sentences only one? Next 50 years, doctors find very good. In the next 50 years, doctors might find the cure for the flu. Very good. The next one, about 35 years ago, can you complement this one with this one and create one sentence? How will you do it? About uh -huh. 25 years ago, the fear men go to the moon. Let's change only one thing because it's past tense. When? Went to when? the moon. Okay, Marlon, can you recreate go, the sentence? When? When? Marlon, give me a sentence again. Thank you, Milton. About 35 years ago, the first man went to the moon. Very good job, very good job, Marlon and Milton. And the last one, we have soon and we have a uh, computers at home can you create one complete sentence soon everyone going to have a computer at home very good job excellent soon everyone is going to have a computer at home excellent job my dear students so those were correct answers very good. I have here the topic for today. The topic for today are if clauses. If clauses are things that you talk about uh, on real situations and the consequences that, that these ones might have. And I have a situation here. If you get a high paying job, if you get a high paying job and you have all these options, which ones do you consider that are true? Which ones are not true? Which, one, which ones do you consider that are for you? Or which ones you say, ah, no, nah, that's not true. If we get a high paying job, I mean, we are not talking about four numbers. We are talking about more than four, than four numbers. It will be like, like one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, and maybe some extra numbers here <laughs> so a high paying job it says if you get a high paying job you won't have to work as hard you will be able to travel first class you might have to pay higher taxes you know what taxes are right impuestos 
you will be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You will be able to buy the things that you want. You might be on TV or in the newspapers. Se busca. <laughs> you might be on the TV or in the newspapers. People will ask you for a loan. What it's a loan? It's like, can you give me $100? I am going to pay. I promise. Hmm. A loan. You will have a lot more free time. And you will be able to buy your parents a new car. Which ones do you consider true for you? That you say, yeah, I will do that if I had a high paid job. Or which ones do you consider that are not real? Teacher, uh, for sure, uh, it's going to be, uh, I, I might have to pay higher taxes. That's for, for sure. sure. <laughs> yes, it was like, no, cae en otra tabla, fíjese, le vamos a tener que descontar más. <laughs> so for sure, you will have to pay higher taxes. Where, which one is another one that you consider that it's true? for you that you say ah if you get a high paying job you'll be able to buy things you want you will be able to buy things that you want and my question goes back to anna what will be the first thing that you will buy que sería lo primero que te comprarías uh -huh. a house <laughs> a house <laughs> a house i think that's everybody's dream Excellent. Let's see. Any other one that you consider that it's true for you? Uh -huh. You'll be able to buy uh, your parents a new car. You'll be able to buy your parents a new car, right? That would be fantastic to have the chance to go to their house and say, Mom, here you have the keys. Ah, that would be awesome, right? It's like, Venga, papá, aquí está uno para usted también. <laughs> I will do it. That would, be fantastic. that would be fantastic. Let's see. Um, Another one that you consider that it can be true if you get a high-paying job. I will be able to travel first class, teacher. I will be able to travel first class. Yes, it's necessary. Champagne for me and for my friend, and also for teacher Nati. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne for all my friends, you say like, okay, that's good. Any other one, which one do you consider true for you? If you get a high pay job. Yes. Teacher. Yes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. You'll be able to donate more to charities, definitely. Charities. Yes. If you have a lot, I mean, you need to share also a, a part of it because, I mean, yes, there are more people who need it. Let's see. Uh, one person who has then participated. Let's see. Anayansi, which one do you think that it will happen with you if you have a high paying job? Miss Ana Yancy. Se nos va a celebrar el gol. Lo que pasa. Ana, it's here. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll have a lot more free time. Aha, uh -huh. you will have a lot more free time. Well, this is kind of tricky because if you have a high pay job, you have to work more. And for sure, they have to, you have to work harder. And if you work more, you don't have free time. I mean, that's like in the balance, right? You have a lot of money, but no time. And you have a lot of things to do and many responsibilities and no family time. It's very complicated. But for the high pay job, I will do the effort <laughs> of doing all this. And do you think that you might appear on TV or in the newspapers? 
Maybe my boss, but not me, right? Creo que mi jefe sí saldría. Yeah, maybe not. People will ask you for a loan. ¿Creen que les prestarían dinero? Other people? Teacher. Yes? Ooh. How do you say regalar? <laughs> ah, to give, give out. No, yes. oh, no, don't give out the money. No, 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 no. Es, es, es que prestado ya murió, mal pagado, Ajá. lo mató. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think the only person who can ask you for a loan and it's going to be never return, it's your mother. Yo creo que sí, el único, yes. el único préstamo que nunca vuelve es el de los papás. <laughs> Mamá, si te presté 20 dólares, <laughs> yo te di la vida. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, okay, bye bye, 20 dólares. <laughs> you don't have it. And for sure, you will have to work harder. So, these ones are if clauses, all the ones that I have presented here. And in these ones, you consider that you, well, in these ones, you present a situation in simple present, and then you get a consequence or like the answer for this one in conditionals or in the future form, right? Because as you can see here, you have, you won't have to work, you will be able, you might, right? You will be able to do this. Many people might want to be your friend, may want to be your friend. You will be able to buy things. You might be on TV. People will ask you for money. You will have a lot of free time and you will be able to buy your parents a new car. So in the first part of the clause, you can see that you have a simple present form, right? But in the second part, that it's like the consequence or the action of this one, you have, uh, models and future okay so imagine what will happen if you um if you run out of electricity right now si se nos va la luz que pasa ahorita que pasa si se nos va la luz en este momento finish the class oh, no yeah. no the problem <laughs> We we'll lose the connection. Okay, in this case, I will lose the connection. I will miss the class. I will not understand the topic. I won't be able to be in class. I will be forced to go and watch the game. <laughs> right? So those are situations. And you see, they are a probability, they are like possibilities, things that might happen if something else happens. So Let's go over these examples. And here I have the little explanation for the topic. And it says, the possible situation, it's in simple present, right? The possible situation is in simple present. And the consequence is in the future with will, may, or might, right? You have the three forms. And we have the examples. If you get a high paying job, what is the consequence? you won't have to work if you don't have to work as hard you will have a lot of more free time if you have a lot of free time you might get bored if you get bored you might have to look for another job so you see every consequence gives you another idea okay in the case of the class what was the example that you gave me for the class and we're going to go back here I am going to go back here in the example of the class. Let me make it here. I am going to, to share it right here. Imagine that I will say if, and I'm going to make it bigger because this looks kind of small. If I lose my internet connection right now what it's going to happen I will miss the class okay I will miss the class and another consequence could be if I miss the class que puede pasar Lose one day. I will, I will lose one day of learning. 
I will lose one day of learning. And what happens if I lose a day of learning? What happens? ¿Qué pasa si pierdo un día de aprendizaje? Uh -huh. I won't have an answer for my teacher, right? I won't have an answer for my teacher, like right now. And if I do not have an answer for my teacher, What is it going to happen? Uh -huh. Síganme el ejemplo. If I don't have an answer for my teacher, what will happen? She will be angry. <laughs> <laughs> she will be angry. Okay, she will be angry. She will be angry. Oh my goodness. What happens if the teacher is angry? Uh -huh. ¿Qué va a pasar? If the teacher is angry. If a student have uh, many stress. <laughs> students, students will have a lot of stress. Okay. Students will have a lot of stress. And what oh, is it scared. going? Or, or scared. <laughs> okay. The students will be okay. The students will be scared. The students will be scared. What happens if the students are scared? Uh huh. What happens if the students are scared? Uh, teacher, is it correct to say they they might not participate? They might not participate. Están espantados ahorita porque nadie participa. They might not participate. Okay. And if students don't participate. No going practice. To Ajá. They won't practice. Very good. They won't practice. Excellent. And what happens if students don't practice? Don't learn. They don't learn. No sure. speak. They won't speak. They won't speak. And imagine if students don't speak. What happens? The teacher will feel alone. They lose the uh, opportunity the uh, working. They lose, okay, the teacher will be alone. <laughs> and they, they will, they will lose the opportunity of working. And if but, students, uh-huh. But the, this is a sentence is for the student, nor the teacher. No, yeah, that's for the students, right? No, I okay. said the first example was if a student don't speak, the teacher will feel alone. But the, the real example is they will lose the opportunity of working. And if a students don't work, they won't have money. Imagine. And if you don't have money, what happens? The problem. We won't eat. Travel. Not travel. We won't, we won't eat, they say. <laughs> okay, I will, say, I will take the other one. We won't eat. And what will happen if we don't eat? We die. If we don't eat, we die. We will die. We will die. <laughs> So, you see, aquí podemos ver la importancia de no perder la conexión a internet. Yeah. You see? 
<laughs> All this is going to happen if you lose your internet connection. So please don't lose your internet connection because this can happen. Okay, imagines? No podemos morir. No, my goodness. No, we don't have to do that. Okay, let's see. Here we have uh, the examples that I was uh, giving you. Let me just go here. I am going to get a screenshot here. And I am going to erase everything. And I will stick it right here. Very good job. Okay, here we go. And I have here some examples and I am going to show them to you. And you have, if you eat less sugar, what do you think the consequence or the situation or the result will be? If you eat less sugar, you have four options here. Five, indeed. Uh, you might feel health, healthier. You so, might feel so. healthier. Good. If you walk to work every day, what will happen? Uh, you will stay in shape without joining a gym. You will stay, stay in shape without joining a gym. Uh, let's see. Mr. Marlon, if you don't get enough sleep, you won't be class. You won't be able to stay awake in class. You will be like falling down, right, in class. Let's see. Uh, Blanquita, let's see. Blanca is here, right? Yes, Blanqui. Yes, I'm here. Sorry, I'm connected with my phone. Okay, okay. It's because I didn't see your camera. If you yes. If you own a pet, hey, there you are, very good. If you own a pet, okay. you have a pet and the answer is you may feel more relaxed. You might feel more relaxed, very good. And if you don't get married? Me? Yes. <laughs> well, that can be, give me your the last example. If you don't get married? You have more money to spend on yourself. You will have more money to spend on yourself, right? You don't have to share the money. All the money is only for, for you. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. And here we have the importance of internet connection. And here we have some other examples, right? If the is clause if the if clause is before, you put a comma. If the if clause is at the end, you don't add a comma. Like in this example. If I go shopping on Saturday, I might spend too much money. I will feel healthier. I might. ¿En qué caso se podría sentir más saludable? I will feel healthier. I'm eat um health food. If I oh. eat healthy food, very good. If I eat healthy food, if I eat healthy or uh, yeah, if I eat healthy food, if I eat healthy food, you might feel healthier. Or maybe to be more specific, you say if I eat or veggies or vegetables, right? I will feel healthier if I eat more veggies. Mm -hmm. If I get more exercise, what will be the complement? If I get more exercise, I made a good body. <laughs> I will. I will get a good body, right? I will get a good body. Very good. And a strong, more, I, uh, stronger. I will become stronger, right? I will become stronger. Yes. I will become stronger. Good. Very good. So you have the two options here. 
I will get a good body and I will become stronger. If I don't get good grades at school, if I don't get good grades at school, what is going to happen? What is it going to happen? ¿Qué nos, ¿Qué nos pasaba si no sacábamos buenas notas? Eh, I, I lost a, a one year. Okay, I will repeat. Okay, I am going to combine the two sentences. I will repeat the year. Oh, that would be terrible, right? I will repeat the year. I will lose one year, right? I will repeat the year. If I might get more sleep if I might get more sleep if uh -huh. ¿Cómo podríamos lograr dormir más? If I sleep early Okay, if I go to sleep oh, early, go to the bed early, if I go to bed earlier, right? If I go to bed earlier, or if I don't check Facebook in my bed, or if I don't check Instagram in bed, if I don't watch videos in bed, if I don't watch series on TV, I might get more sleep. I will be happy if... I will be happy if if please sleep more if, if I if I can sleep more I will yes. be happy if I can sleep more I will be happy if the selector wins you say I will be happy very good so these are some examples. Important, if the if clause is at the beginning, we put a comma. If the if clause is at the end, we don't put comma, okay? Si la if clause la tenemos al principio de la oración, necesitamos una coma antes de poner la consecuencia. Pero si la if clause viene acompañando la oración, you don't need a comma, okay? That's important to remember. And let me see, here, I have examples for you. And you are going to give me the answer. You have question number one. Uh, let's see. Milton, can you read question number one? You won't be able to buy new clothes? No, the question, the question, honey. I mark it ah, there. Okay, okay, okay. Number A. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? Okay, no, it's the first one. I think it's this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. If I don't. I didn't see. What? What if I get in shape this summer? What if I get in shape this summer? What is going to happen? Si se pone figurita para el verano. Ajá. You may be able to come rock climbing with me. You might be able to come rock climbing with me. But if not, bye bye. Check on me on Facebook because you are not going to go there like in the middle if you are not that in shape. Let's see the next one. The next question. Eh, let's see. Anayansi, read the second question. Mm -hmm. I, well, I mark it there. Ahí se le acabo de marcar. Sí, yes. Okay. Read the question. Read it. Lamb. Uh, how do you say... Uh, Good linea, buena linea. Uh, in good line, in good shape. In and good shape. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. 
Okay, but read the question. Read the question. What will happen if I what stop exercising? Stop exercise. Uh, you might go. go. <laughs> okay, you might gain weight. This one. What will happen if I stop exercising? Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's not this one. Sorry. No. It's the second one. No, well, yes. you, yes. Might well gain you might gain weight. weight. Gain weight is subir de peso. Right? You might gain weight. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jancy. What if I get a better job? ¿Qué va a pasar si tengo un mejor trabajo? More, more money. <laughs> you will get more money for sure. And with more money, Ismael, what is it going to be the result? What will be the result? Yo. Hello, hello, teacher. I'm hello, sorry. Hello. Ah, I was celebrating. on mute. <laughs> Go ahead. What yeah, will um, happen if you get a better job? Uh, like someone said, I will get more money, uh -huh. and I will, I will buy better things. I you will say. be able to buy new clothes. New clothes. <laughs> Very good. Ana Romero, read the last question. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? What will happen if I don't get a summer job? What do you think, my dear students, that will happen if I don't get a summer job? Uh -huh. What will happen? You'll probably have to find a roommate when the school starts. You will probably have to find a roommate when the school starts, okay? Because you are not going to have money to pay for the house on your own. Okay, very good job. Excellent, my dear students. Before we finish on the last exercise that we are going to go, I have here different topics and for sure different consequences. What do you think it's the possible consequence on this one? If you buy a large dog, what is going to happen? If you buy a large dog, this is like Kiara. Kiara is exactly like this one. Uh -huh. Here you have some options. What will happen if you buy a large dog? Feel safer in your home? Aha, uh -huh. I will, I will feel mm -hmm. safer in my house. Yeah, I, I, I thought the same. In this case, remember that you can use, I will, okay. I might, I may, right? And you can use any of these three forms for you to start heal uh, the sentence. And in okay. here, for sure, you are going to use if I, and you say, if I, if I buy a large dog, if I fall in love, if I go on a diet, if I inherit a lot of money, if I move to a foreign country. So you say, if I buy a large dog, I might feel safer at home. Good. What will happen? What will happen? If you fall in love. Oh, yeah. it's a problem, teacher. <laughs> it's a, a problem. problem. <laughs> okay, what yeah. will happen? Here you have all the options. I you need... will lose touch with old friends. You will lose touch with old friends, right? Because you all your time is going to be focused on the new acquisition. That's true. Another thing that might happen. Uh huh. You will feel jealous sometimes. You know what jealous is? It's like, 
<laughs> you might feel jealous sometimes. What happens if you go on a diet? Jealous, teacher, celos. Ah, uh -huh. celoso. Mm. Yeah. Celoso. Mm -hmm. Celoso. What happens? What will happen if you go on a diet? You will feel hungry a lot. <laughs> you will feel hungry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen Never. if you inherit a lot of money? Si le heredan un montón de dinero. Uh -huh. I will be able to buy expensive clothes. I will be able to buy expensive clothes. And what will happen if you move to a foreign country? A un eh, país extranjero. Mm -hmm. I will have to learn a new language. I will have to learn a new language, right? You see? Consequences, consequences, consequences. Good, my dear students. To finish our class today, I am going to share the last situation, right? Here, uh, I give you some examples, right? And I am going to send it to you, uh, or you can take a picture or a screenshot of this one. And you have here three options that you need to complete, okay? Necesito que completen estas tres eh, casos que les dejo aquí if you forget your charger on a trip if you leave your phone uy, I lost one H here if you leave your phone at home and if you forget your money, necesito que los complementen con casos posibles que pasarían si estas tres situaciones se dan en su vida, ok my dear students Take a screenshot of it, please. I am going to also send, uh, take a picture of it. And I am going to send it to you on the WhatsApp group. We are going to work on this one tomorrow. Okay. Have a beautiful night. And I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Good night. Bye-bye, my dear students. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care.